Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of French auction portal Interanchere and we're going to have a look at an auction by Sylvie Dago, a new auction house to us. So this is a general auction but there are a few musical instruments in it. I say a few and I mean really about 12 or so, so not many at all. But as I said in my previous video and on many others before, sometimes even the small auctions, as long as they have kind of 10 or so musical instruments, sometimes there can be interesting stuff. And as it's quiet at the moment in the auction sphere, uh, we're gonna have a look at this auction. So this particular one is due to finish on the 29th of April, so a few days left to go. Buyer's premium is 20%, so that's what you pay on top of the final hammer price. This is a French auction, so if you're looking to buy something and you're outside of France, somewhere else in Europe maybe, or internationally, bear in mind import and export fees, shipping, all of that stuff, societies, restrictions, all of that fun. So yeah, let's see what we've got really. Um, just before we kind of really get into it, I'd just like to say if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing or like or comment. I realise that some of these videos are not too exciting, uh, these smaller in-between ones while we're waiting for the big auction houses. But like I said, sometimes you can find interesting things in these auctions, so I think they're worth looking at. So we go to page four uh, on this particular auction and we'll see the first bits of the musical instruments, I think. So... Here we are. We have a bandonian, which has some kind of damage and wear. We've got a few pictures there, 20 to 30 euros. That seems kind of fair. Looks like it's got a bit of woodworm damage all over it, which is unfortunate. Uh, but there's a lot of pictures, so that's good. We like to see that in uh, a good auction house, lots of pictures. So that is positive so far. Another lot here. We have a violin. A in a copy bearing the label Chippo Viome in Paris 1895 okay with some glued cracks so let's see how many pictures we have here it's a picture of the front a few other bits here difficult to say exactly but some kind of uh, trade violin almost certainly so uh, bow there looking fairly kind of standard but a lot of pictures four to five hundred euros I don't know it's it seems a little bit expensive but uh, if it's a kind of French violin of some kind I guess maybe that's a realistic estimate uh, bagpipes around 1900 with ebony parts interesting it's in berry bagpipe I'm not sure about that translation on that quite interesting a set of pipes there. I don't know a massive amount about pipes. I'm sure someone that does will know exactly what type uh, these are, but uh, they look interesting nevertheless. Got another violin here with a Clement 1821 label and a silver mounted bow, two to three hundred euros there. This again looks like a fairly standard kind of trade violin there. Silver mounted bow could be interesting. Two to three hundred, nothing too crazy there. On to the next page. Got a couple of mandolins. J. Bonabila, 1902, and a Fantausi mandolin. These are pretty bog standard mandolins here. Nothing exciting, and they will need a bit of uh, work there, so nothing too much to uh, see but once again lots of pictures so that's good we do like to see that a mandola by Fenger Kandowski around 1900 to be restored 20 to 30 euros it's not too bad an estimate there another violin with the Breton uh, brand 2 to 250 euros with a silver mounted bow. Let's see another trade violin there, could well be a, a Breton, some of them definitely look like that. Interesting bow there, marked Hammond, or Harmond even. Interesting looking bow. 
2 to 250 euros, so it's not too bad. Actually, quite a few violins in this auction. Violin, 7 eighths uh, violin, Carlo Testore label. Okay. Once again, looks like another variation on the trade violins with a kind of fake label. Student three quarter violin here with a Strad label and some kind of bow. They've taken lots of uh, pictures of this one for some reason, but better more pictures than not enough. And saying a student violin here, 1930s Miracle. That looks to be about uh, about right, I'd say. Looks like an okay violin, the bow not so much. 50 to 80 euros, I think that's right. That could be a nice enough violin for someone. Got a JTL mandolin. Think flat back, standard kind of type. Nothing too exciting to see in this. A Le Vesuvian branded mandolin, 1900, another flat back one. Once again, pretty standard kind of stuff here. A mahogany metronome by Milero. There are people that collect these old metronomes, so 5 to 10 euros, that's a fair estimate. All the estimates have been pretty fair so far. A full size violin with a Fisher. Leon Paris label with two bows. Definite uh, trade violin there, so nothing too crazy. Label looks very dubious, the bows even more dubious. Violin labelled Stradivarius with a bow marked San Stefano and another bow there. Once again, another trade violin. Not seeing anything super exciting uh, about that lot. Uh, violin without label. Two bows. Once again, standard trade violin there. Uh, hard to say some of the pictures of the bows aren't the greatest. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. 60 to 100. A violin, copy after Marquis Dillaire, Laban and Ironmark, two bows, 1950-1910, let's see, I think it is just a trade violin, bows also not super exciting, we've got a uh, automatic concert varophone, interesting uh, bell that it has on there, really nice blue bit out of our normal remit gramophone here, might as well look at it while we're here and uh, a barrel organ that's quite interesting decorated with birds on the blue background Le Ludion Toulouse model, 14 different tunes definitely people that collect these, 3 to 350 euros looks quite interesting well, and there we have it. I think that is all of the musical instruments that are part of the Sylvie um, Dago auction. Nothing particularly interesting in this auction, unfortunately, but uh, you win some, you lose some. Like I said, some of these smaller auctions, you can find pretty good stuff. I suspect the bagpipe might be interested, interesting to someone that's... Uh, Knows of this stuff. Some of the violins aren't too bad. Prices, not sure about them, but a uh, couple of uh, student violins that might be useful. So, yeah, I'll put a link in the description as always. Check it out, see what you think, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao. Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.